And now I'm just in the air on this ladder, like 50 feet high up. Hey guys, so today I have a story to tell. Now this is not the usual type of video that I make on this channel, but this story deserves a video as you've probably seen by the title and the thumbnail. Yes, I am on crutches now, but the question is, how did I get to that point? This is how it started. My parents, they went camping for a couple of days to a lake that's about three and a half hours away driving. Obviously, they wanted me to come and I wanted to go too, but I couldn't because I worked during the week and they were going during the week. And I'm freshly 16, I can take care of myself, I can take care of the house, I can stay home alone, or so I thought. Generally, my parents trust me and they know I'm not gonna do anything stupid and I trust myself. Anyways, my parents left, they weren't home, I was staying home completely alone. I was on my bus, home from work. In my head, I was making a list of all these things I was gonna get done when I got home. I was like, I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna make myself dinner, I'm gonna feel a video or edit a video whatever I was gonna do all these things and then I realize I am gonna check my wallet just in case to make sure that I have my keys with me what I'm gonna use to get inside my house to accomplish all the plans that I have planned in the first place now my house keys they have always been in a little compartment in my wallet on a zipper and I always have them there I have never like went somewhere and been like oh I don't have my house keys I always have them with me even if I don't need them. That is why the night before, I didn't even check to make sure I had them. I just assumed that they were there because they're always there. On my bus, I take out my wallet, I open up that little compartment that's supposed to have my keys in it, right? And I look inside and my keys are nowhere to be seen. They're just not there. And so I start going through my whole entire backpack, through the rest of the wallet, every single pocket, every single crack. I look through everywhere. My house keys are gone. I am just an idiot. The first thing that I think of is where am I gonna sleep? My friend, she lives right next to me. I just texted her and I was like, can I stay over at your house? And she said, yes, I could. That was all good. I had a place to sleep. But I'm not gonna end up being on the streets. Next morning, I can go to work again. But as soon as I realized everything's gonna be okay, it's okay, I realized that I have have a cat inside my house who needs water, who needs food, and needs his litter box clean. My parents were supposed to be coming back the day after that at like night. I was just concerned for my cat. So I realized I have to get inside my house. I arrive at my bus stop, I get off, I walk to my friend's house, we meet up, we go over to my house. She tells me it's okay, we can go. Oh wait, before that, I also got a hold of my parents and my parents said that our friends were gonna be on their way to help me. So I was all set, you know, I could wait at her house totally till my our family friends come, it was all good. I just had to wait for like a couple of hours. Not a problem at all. But my friend and I, we decided to go over to my house anyways and just try some Googled house opening ideas without keys that she found online. Now the first one is a card trick, which did not work. Now the second option is to get the screening off of my kitchen window because that's the only one that you can access without having to climb up to any other window. And I did take the screening out, but the window was closed itself, so I couldn't get inside. We walked around and I realized that both my window and my sister's window, they were o completely open, and my parents' window, they were completely open. Like their screening was still there, but the window itself was open. If I could just get to the roof, that could lead me to either my window or my sister's window. Sounds easy, right? All we need is like a ladder. My friend and I, we knock on our neighbor's door and we ask them for a ladder. They don't have a ladder. We go across the street to another house. We ring their doorbell, they don't answer. We go to the third house, ring their doorbell, they answer. This old man comes out and I tell him the story, how I'm locked out of my house and I need a ladder. He gives us a ladder, we carry the ladder all the way to my house. Seems like a great plan, like I'm gonna get inside my house super fast. It's gonna take like 10 minutes, I don't have to wait for my friends to come. My friend and I were just such geniuses, like we got this. We get the ladder, we put it straight up, lean it against the roof. I start climbing the ladder, she's holding the ladder, I start climbing it, I get halfway, it's kind of shaky, I'm like, is this gonna hold me up? It seems like it's fine. I climb even more, I make it to the level of the roof on the ladder, and then, as I'm holding onto the ladder, the ladder starts shaking and slipping down, like just slipping down from where it's resting against the roof. It just slips down and now I'm just in the air on this ladder like 50 feet high up. 
and I just flop down on this ladder onto the cement. Now the very first thing that happened is I was holding on really tightly to the ladder and I put one of my feet out through like the little opening in the ladder to catch myself. So one of my feet completely got the whole entire fall and I also put my elbow down. Now my right foot, that was the foot that I landed on with like all of my weight and also my elbow, it's like scratched up and don't mind the grain, that's just like some Russian medicine I guess you can say. As I get up from my fall and I stand up and I I sit down I can just hear all the bones in my foot crack into place that was the worst sound I've ever heard in my life but also a relief because right after that like the first shock of pain just kind of like subsided now the very first thing that pops into my head is I broke my ankle I broke my ankle <sighs> That following Sunday, I was supposed to have a dance competition. Now this was a Wednesday. Am I gonna be fine? Am I gonna be all right? Uh, probably not. Now my bones are popping and cracking or whatever, I don't even know. But I could still walk right after, so like I started walking and then the pain was like all right, you know, it wasn't bad. It was definitely tolerable, like it was a serious fall from a very high height and it definitely could have been a lot worse. I did end up getting into my house because my friend's dad was driving by, saw us, pulled in, he helped us get the ladder up and he climbed inside and did open the screening, got inside, he opened the door from the inside. My foot hurt just a little bit. I very quickly put some ice on it. I was just sitting there with ice. It was not swelling up at all for like the first 30 minutes until there was a small little bump on like the right side of it that just appeared and that's when I started to get worried. And then about 30 minutes later after I've been icing it, a second bump appeared. It just kept like getting bigger and bigger. I could move my toes, I could roll my ankle around so I didn't think it was bad. I actually I actually still was planning to go to work the next day. My parents are kind of freaking out because I called them, I told them everything. They were glad I was inside the house. So yeah, I was inside my house, but I also had an injury. I was assuring them that it's totally fine, it's okay, I'm fine, I don't need the hospital. I made myself dinner, my friends stayed a little bit longer. I finished my dinner, I took off my sock, I looked at my foot again, and it was even more swollen. It just blew up like a balloon. It was turning blue. So I was like, mom, dad, I think you need to come home. They came back at midnight. I was obviously already asleep. The next morning, I went to the hospital. And thank God, I did not have any fractures. I did not break my ankle or my foot. I just had a grade two foot sprain. They said it's gonna take about two or three weeks for it to heal. And they gave me a boot and some crutches. And for that first evening that I was home, waiting for my parents, like they were still not home, and I had to get myself into bed and stuff, I was completely hopping around on my left foot, and I still am hopping around because crutches are inconvenient. I face planted with my crutches into my bathroom floor so I try to avoid using the crutches as much as possible. A fall from that height off a ladder could have I don't even know. I'm just glad that my legs are fine and it was just my foot and that my bones are still all intact. Today is day four after my foot sprain and it's definitely a lot better. Anyways, the moral of the story is don't lose your house keys or don't forget them anywhere and don't try to climb your roof without adult supervision because that's not gonna work out well for you. I mean, if you have experience with climbing ladders, go ahead, take your risks. I I did end up finding my keys. They are now going to haunt me forever and I will never ever forget my house keys ever again. Ah, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed even though it was a lot different from what I usually do. But please make sure to check out all of my other videos and subscribe to my channel and like this video. Comment down below any questions you have or I don't know if you like my story time, comment that down below. So other than my injured foot, I am doing completely fine. I would just be enjoying this next week off of work because I can't walk on my foot and hopefully we'll be making some more videos. I will see you in my next video. Bye!